Calls going unanswered. That's how many of you have described your recent experience trying to reach the Office of Motor Vehicles. Now lawmakers are trying to get answers as to why there is a holdup. Well, it was kind of a nightmare. You, you, would, uh, you would hope that things would be a lot smoother. Dana Eastridge is describing the recent troubles that he's had with the Office of Motor Vehicles. Eastridge is a longtime resident of Vernon Parish, but recently spent some time in Mississippi, where he purchased new insurance for his vehicle. But when he returned to Louisiana, he was told by his local OMV that he was flagged for not only not having insurance in the state, but also owed a $500 fee. He was told that the fee could only be paid at the state office. They said that we did not recognize that because it was not purchased in Louisiana and that I still would have to pay the $500 fee and I would need to go through Baton Rouge in order to do that. But for Eastridge, this was only the beginning of what he calls a nightmare with the office. He made multiple attempts to call the state office in Baton Rouge, each time getting the same response. We are sorry, but due to high call volume, we cannot take your call at this time. He said it took two days and over an hour of being on hold before he was finally able to reach someone about paying his fine. We spent the whole day dialing and redialing and dialing and redialing. There's no one answering. It, it, you put on hold due to the volume of calls. We were unable to accept your call right now. And you, you just uh, you feel like you're beating your head against the wall. While Eastridge eventually got his issue resolved, he hasn't been the only one. It, it is probably the... The top call that comes to my office was citizens, from citizens needing help. State Representative Chuck Owen in Vernon Parish sits on the Transportation, Highways, and Public Works Committee. He says that the root of the call center concerns is a result of a lack of manpower and outdated systems at the OMV. The system should work better where someone doesn't have to say, oh my gosh, that's four hours, I'm, I'm going to have to call somebody else. The state needs to work better for people. Representative Owen is now calling on the Office of Motor Vehicles to respond to the complaints. A hearing is set for Monday at the state capitol to discuss not only the phone system, but how the OMV plans to fill over 60 vacancies around the state. Let's put on hold. Eastridge will be there Monday sharing his story with the OMV, and he will ask if the local offices can go back to handling those concerns instead of having to be referred to the call center in Baton Rouge. They need to have uh, more telephones uh, <laughs> or, or more people answering the phones, one of the two or both. And an OMB spokesperson says that the voice message system is active and return calls are consistently made within three business days if the caller provides all of the required information.